Gunton here from the Transparency Project and we're going to be looking at some skills today to help teachers um, develop uh, video skills in the classroom. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up a web browser. I'm going to open up Safari but you can open up Chrome or any other browser of choice. Um, and what we're going to actually do is we're going to go through the process of creating a Gmail account if you don't already have one. Um, if you already have one, great. Um, if not, you're going to want to click sign in right up here. And you may already have several. Maybe you want to create a, a different one. Um, I do encourage you to have a professional Gmail um, if you are planning to use it for teaching purposes. Um, so your personal email, I love my poodle at gmail.com might not be the best. Um, thing to give your students. So we're going to go through the process of setting this up. Um, I'm actually going to set up um, a Gmail for the Transparency Project. Okay, so I'm just going to try Transparency if that will work. Um, and someone already has that one, so I'm going to say Transparency Project. Transparency Project at Gmail. Okay, nobody has that create a password, um, use whatever password you want to, something you'll remember but something other people won't know. Okay, um, birthday, um, actually in Japan setting this up right now so my computer thinks I want to use my Japanese information, um, but I don't. Okay. Um, current email address, um, jdunnsetto is my YouTube channel that I've been using, um, so I'll use that. All right, we'll put this CAPTCHA in. And location, yeah, right now I'm in Japan, but I'm going to select my correct location in general. Um, it's the United States, not the United Kingdom. There we go. Okay, agree to the privacy policy. On to the next step. Okay, so here's the next step. I can add a photo if I want to. Just click there can select a photo from my computer if I want, or I can just go to the webcam um, and let it give it permission to take my picture. Close. All right, and then take a snapshot. Go ahead and upload that. All right, that'll be fine. And then set it as a profile. If you don't like it, just pick a different one that yeah that maybe you like better. Okay. And then after it uploads, you'll have your profile. You can also put other information in your profile if you want. If there are certain things you want students or parents or families to be able to access. Um, See, there's a profile. You click the next step, um, and it'll let you update things. And also, you can go back and update your photo, um, too. So here's the email. It tells you transparencyproject at gmail.com. Okay, and this is uh, will be a great place you can reach me after I get everything set up here, um, which I will have by the time you're watching this video. So you can go ahead and click um, get started at that point if you want, and then you'll... Um, you have the basics of what you need for a working, not only a working Gmail account, but for other uh, things that we're going to build on that I'm going to show you. You'll have a checklist of things you can look at and want to be able to do.